Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can use your Xbox controller to either control your camera in real time or quickly navigate the scene. You can also use the gamepad to animate your character via the motion director tool. In this first example, sometimes when using the legacy camera controls, your view can get obstructed as sometimes the navigation isn't as precise. However, if you are using the Xbox controller, you may find that you can achieve camera movement that is not only more precise, but allows you to navigate more freely due to the ability to simultaneously rotate, zoom, and pan the view. To start off, let's explore the camera navigation and gamepad settings. The first thing you'll want to do is to ensure that you deselect all objects in the scene when navigating with the controller. The left and right joysticks will zoom in and out by pushing them up or down, and left and right will pan the camera in their respective directions. Left and right triggers are used to boom the camera up or down. In the preferences, you'll see here that I already have gamepad control activated, and we can tweak the sensitivity. You can see the difference if we set the camera slider value to low or high. High sensitivity will result in much faster movement. The various camera parameters can also be adjusted separately as well. This gives you more comprehensive control to generate more moody and subtle camera movements. The dead zone parameter allows you to determine the joystick's working range. Occasionally a joystick may have a consistent offset due to age or other factors, so a higher value here can help to fix that drift. In the sensitivity settings, you can also tweak the camera sensitivity with the directional pad on the controller while simultaneously moving the camera with the joysticks. Under Edit, you can access the Hotkey Manager, and under Camera Navigation, all of the hotkey slots will be listed, which aren't assigned yet. If you switch the device to the Xbox controller, you can see the hotkey mapping for the camera controls. Let's add a useful hotkey for timeline zoom in and out while we're here. To assign a new hotkey, first click on the function you want to assign, then press the A button, and then the button you want to assign that hotkey to. In this case, I'm assigning the right joystick. Now when we enter into the timeline, we can use the right joystick to quickly zoom in and out. Now that we've got the basic settings down, let's look at animating the camera. You can preview your camera movement before recording the playback to plan out your path, and then add in a linear camera. From there, I'll play back and do a slow and subtle pan to the right using my left joystick, and you'll notice all of the keys will be added to the transform track of the camera in the timeline. We can edit this further by opening up the Curve Editor. Here I'm selecting all of the rotation and position curves, and under Filter, I'm going to optimize selected keys. This decreases the number of keyframes in the transform track and makes editing much simpler. If I want to add a quick little touch to my scene here, with my camera selected, I can open up the depth of field section and pick the bird statue in the foreground as my target at frame 1. I can then scrub down the timeline and pick the female character at a later frame. This will create a nice transition of focus for the subject of our scene. If you click on View DOF Regions, you can see a color code that shows how the DOF moves through the scene. 
The red area is the focal region. You can see how it transitions as our target moves closer to the camera, finally ending up on the same plane as the bird statue. That's basic camera animation with depth of field. Let's move on now to controlling your character with the Xbox controller using Motion Director. First things first, make sure that the Xbox controller is selected under Enabled Devices. Once you hit Start, you can use the directional pad to switch the camera view. In Motion Director here, the right joystick allows you to orbit, and the right and left triggers will zoom out. Pressing the right joystick will reset the camera. You can control your character's movement using the left joystick, and speed will increase as you push harder on the joystick. When using the joystick, you'll also notice that directional change is quite smooth. To trigger the perform motions for the corresponding speed, you can use the X, Y, A, or B buttons. In addition, you can use the left or right bumper buttons to switch the mode, which in this case toggles our character between casual and athletic modes. Keep in mind that each mode will have its own performs as well. This allows you to easily transition from a casual perform to an athletic perform with a few quick button presses. If your mode has a larger number of performs, you can use the back button on your controller to switch to the perform pages in the MD triggers window. I'll discuss what to do if a speed has too many performs later on. Let's open the hotkey manager to explore the trigger settings. Here you can see all of the default button assignments. Right now we have Athletic Mode active with a parkour extension, which contains a ton of different performs. In this case, we need to add pages to ensure that we have enough hotkeys assigned. I'll enter into Edit Trigger Pages and simply add two additional pages. I can then click and drag the various performs to the pages of my choice. Now I can use the back button to toggle through those pages, and each page will have its own unique set of performs in the MD Triggers window. There are a bunch of additional Motion Director packs you can find in the Content Store from Rock Singer to Emotes. Okay, finally, let's set about recording the camera movement in Motion Director. Under your camera settings, be sure to enable Record Camera. It's also recommended to switch the initial mode to Follow Camera. Also ensure that you enable Record Mode for your character as well to save its motions to the timeline. Press Start when you're good to go, and go ahead and move your character and camera around simultaneously, and hit the buttons for the various performs. This is a super quick and easy way to get not only recorded character motions, but also camera movement, and all with a couple of quick commands from your Xbox controller. From there, you can open the timeline and see the recorded motion director clip in the motion track and the keyframes in the MD camera track. As you can see, whether you're looking to block out a scene, whip out a quick previs, or any other number of time intensive scenarios, this workflow can be incredibly useful and time-saving. That's it for this video guys. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.